All right, we're in the Pride of Prussia campaign, and it's time to buy the Admiralty backing. And the basic Admiralty backing is 2,500 doubloons. That's ten dollars. And with this, you'll have to uh, complete all the milestones over the course of the next five weeks. Here you can uh, increase that a little bit and get a little bit of a head start for slightly under $40, 9,750 doubloons. You can purchase the first 30 milestones. You can purchase all the milestones for 27,250 doubloons. You get all the stuff that you see here, plus around 19 Italian battleship crates. So buying out the campaign you won't have to spend the money in the store to get the Italian battleship crates. So that's what we're going to do. Whatever you do, do not do this at home. I don't really recommend it. But we're going to go ahead and purchase it. So here we go. There's some of those crates. A lot of Regia Marina camo, which will come in handy to uh, to camouflage the Italian battleships that we're going to have access to, hopefully. Two insignias, more camo. We're just going to let this run out. Alright, well there you go. There's the Brandenburg. That's the main reward for the Pride of Prussia campaign. And we're going to claim the ship. And alright, campaign is finished. And this is not for the faint of heart. It did cost $110. Well, we're going to take a look and see how many steel we get for each of the subsequent milestones. And it looks like only five steel. Now, after the Theseus Bane campaign was bought out, you got 10 steel per additional milestone. So here you only get five. So it's not as good of a deal as it was last time as far as the steel goes, but it is what it is. You can see I was wrong. I got 20 crates up there. I think one is the commander crate, though. So this is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like it.